Hello, my Choo Choo family. I'm your fun-loving big vlogger, Tom Choo Choo. So, I was gonna make a cooking video of making egg tarts, but for some reason, my lovely camera decided to stop in the middle of it without me knowing it. So, now I have this aftermath of the egg tarts that I made. I thought I'd just do a mukbang video. Why not? Story of my life. With that said, if you're new to this channel, I'm doing everything keto and anything mukbang. So if you like it, please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my updates. Usually I have my sister with me, but since I was doing a cooking mukbang video, I thought I can just do it myself. I guess not. Choo choo! Okay, so... The recipe called for five of them, so I am just going to finish it all myself. Without my sister being here, I can do whatever I want. Mmm. By the way, this is keto egg tarts. And if you really want to see the recipe, please leave a comment down below and tell me so I can make that as my next video. Because I failed this one. Mmm. Okay. It's still hot. It just came out of the oven. For those of you who doesn't know what egg tarts are, it's a Chinese traditional dish for dim sums. If you have been to dim sums, you know, a lot of people order egg tarts. It's just sweet desserts. Especially, it's great after you finish a nice meal. Mmm. This is really good. My second time of making it. Mm. I feel like if you put in the fridge a little bit, it'll harden the, the inside filling and that might taste better but right now, it tastes really good mm. Mm. so as you know, I don't really know what to talk about today because I was planning to making this as a, a cooking video um, let's talk a little bit about my keto life journey right now. As of now, I am still in ketosis. Have I lost that much weight? No, not really. Because I'm eating stuff like this. Mmm. I think I put the heavy whipped cream a little bit too much so that way it's it's too juicy. Mm. One of the reasons I don't think I lost weight because I'm intaking a lot of calories. Like this, for instance, it's 200 calories per little tiny of it. So if I have five of them, that's 1,000 calories. Oh, you might ask, what about the carb count? So the net carb of each tiny little thing of this is 2.4 carb. So if I have five of them, it's about 11 to 12 carbs. So if you're going on a keto diet, and this is your only time intaking carbs, you might still have some room to eat something else. Why do I still do keto diet if it's not losing weight? I'll tell you in a second. Let me finish this one. Mm. 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 
I think the best thing about keto diet is that once you are in ketosis, you don't feel sleepy as much. You know, sometimes when you finish your food, you might have what it called a food coma uh, when you intake too much carbs, like noodle or rice. So in this case, I'm cutting down a lot of carbs and um, I don't feel tired at all. And I feel the alert, like I'm very cautious and alert when I'm in ketosis. And I love the feeling of it. Do you guys have any New Year resolutions? Because I don't. I always feel like the resolutions is a way to have an excuse to do something that you don't really want to do. And by the end of the month, you might end up just not doing it because you didn't want to do it from the beginning. I do feel like I need to lose some weight. After this pandemic is over, I am definitely going to the gym. Some people were telling me, why don't you just do home gym? If you have seen my friends, Jeremy Sarai and Frank Walls, they're doing all these fitness videos. So go check them out. But I don't know, I, is it me or I feel like if I'm not out of my house to do the gym exercises, I get too, too lazy. Like I don't have that mentality of, okay, I am going to the gym right now. I think that's my problem. I need to get out of my house, maybe go to a gym in order to do those exercises. But one thing that's great about keto, it's fixing my internal organs. I think I have fatty liver and also um, gallbladder issues and it has been better than ever. I had done my blood test um, before the year was over and my doctor told me my LDL and HDL were really high, which is not normal. But in keto, I have search up and they say they're fine. Um, although it was really high, like 350 high, but my triglycerides were okay. So I didn't have to worry too much, but I know I'm not consuming as much fat as I used to because I hope it will drop my LDL. I don't know. I might have to Google that one. But do you guys want to see my shirtless update like how I did last year? Please leave a comment down below and like this video. If it reach to a hundred, I'll strip mm. for you. This is not only fans. This is just me stripping to see and to tell you and to compare what had happened in the past year of my keto life. You have made this far. So please like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my updates in the future. Honestly, thank you for watching me till this point. I mean, I am literally just eating my sorrows away of not able to make that cooking video. But hey, you learned something about me today. So bye.